Today we're going to go over four ways to use cloud computing for small business. This is Kevin from NittyGrittyCloud.com. Number one is access. So you want to have access to your files wherever you are. Um, and it allows for a small business to give their employees a way to work while on the road, work from home, or wherever you are, as long as you have an internet connection. Another benefit is the access syncs up from whatever device or location you're at. And small businesses can benefit from having smaller square footage of either a leased space or a building space or wherever space they occupy. Uh, if you have your employees work from home, you're not paying for the extra cubicle, that extra connection, that extra phone line. All that stuff comes into play which can save small businesses money. Number two is cloud computing is a file sharing program. So it assists in having your employees in your employees expand their vast information throughout the cloud uh, through groups and task groups and other employee groups that ha will have access to the shared documents, videos, and programs. Uh, some companies, some small businesses would pay for a custom software. Uh, if you have cloud computing, which isn't cheap for a small business, but compared to having a custom software and, and dealing with licensing issues and stuff like that, it's, you're much better off than having these people remote in and trying to navigate through the programs within the network. A small business, you want to have access to this information all the time and you want to be able to share it all the time and be synced up all the time. That's what cloud, compu cloud computing provides for you. And you can create groups to share all the files you need, when you need them and how you need to share them. It's not necessary to set up a network or get involved with providing a virtual private network. So if you have an internet connection and you have a cloud service provider, um, depending on how small your business is, some small businesses can go with some of the free options that are out there. You might run into some space requirements, but that would cause you to pay for a service. But if you're a small business with less than say 10 employees, then you can sign up with a free service, have them sign up with the free service, and you can share amongst yourselves. There are some uh, nice interfaces that cater to small business and sharing files, and it makes for a productive work environment. Next we have online data storage, which is imperative or critical for a small business to have and maintain their data and make sure it's secure and abundantly available. Uh, cloud computing provides a cost-effective way to take advantage of this while having less expensive a less expensive option rather than going with internal servers and networks and paying for costly people like database employees to maintain and set up these these server rooms and uh, make sure everything's in sync with it with with your work software and the employees uh, the cloud is ultimately more reliable for online, online data storage because it's less susceptible to corruption failure or loss of data it's not to say it's not going to happen can happen, but the good thing about being across the cloud is it's backed up in multiple locations, so um, 
the, the catastrophic event where you lose your data, it should be backed up somewhere. I mean, you're not going to lose it altogether. It's, it's going to be backed up somewhere in the, in the service provider. So if the, if the service provider, such as uh, one of these bigger ones like uh, Google Drive or SkyDrive or uh, Dropbox is a popular small business cloud computing service. If they go down or if their whole infrastructure goes down, then your data, data may be in trouble. But I'm sure these companies in, are adamantly do not want to have your data lost or corrupted or fail because it's their reputation and their branding which would suffer. And last, number four, we have document collaboration. So a small business needs good communication and managers need to communicate with their workers to let everybody be in sync with each other and know what's going on and see what kind of updates are coming in and what needs to be done to get the task and projects completed. So cloud computing offers document collaboration and it's a seamless option for working on files, documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, basically any type of file. Um, the nice thing about it is it's always updated and synced to everyone that the files are shared to or shared with. Once a file is uploaded, even the large ones, there's some services out there uh, I've seen up to 10 gigabytes and if you do some of these paid service providers sometimes it's unlimited or uh, very large. Uh, you'll be able to access, view, edit, update, renew, I'm uh, sorry, review and chat with others real time about collaborating on the same project. So it is real time or as close to real time as you can get and it does keep a historical way of identifying who made what changes and so the old files are recoverable which is nice and the collaboration all around is, is a beautiful thing within a small business because you can communicate with each other in a reasonable way without having to use all these makeshift ways of, of piecing together softwares and saying, oh, do you have this on your screen? I want to, you know, I'm, I'm going to email you the file. You don't have to do that. If you're logged in, you can chat with each other and work on the same document together and you'll see the changes happening right in front of you on the same document. Uh, and when you email files and, and shift files around, it's susceptible to security and data, data breach. So you're better off just having it you're with cloud computing, basically just sharing it with the other person. So whoever the creator of the file or document or spreadsheet or PowerPoint is would share it to their group or share it to the people they want to have either view, just view it, you can just view, you can have them view and edit, uh, you can have just um, people that you're doing projects with if you want to send them a, a note or if you have a bunch of people you need to send the same note and you don't want them to edit it, you can just send the view and they'll receive it. There's no upload time, there's no download time for them, it's basically they're viewing the file that you've created. Uh, the view and edit feature, which is nice within a group if you're working on a project. Uh, you all get to see and work on the same document and you don't all have to be doing it real time. I mean somebody works in the daytime and somebody works in the night you'll still be working on the same document and it all syncs up so any changes will be seen by each other whenever the next time they log in from any device anywhere so that's four ways you can use cloud computing for small businesses